Hey guys, DT Gaming here. So I'm here to show you guys a little trick that I learned while doing some fishing here. Um, if you guys want to, I'm using I'm using the foam rubber fish 003 on a three out hook. I'm just right here at the 34, which is at E7. But the point is, I'm gonna show you guys something. Uh, so I'm just casting in the front and basically fishing on the side. Now, I'm not paying attention to that. I know somebody think I am, but I'm not. I just want to show you guys something. So, there is different ways to perch. Okay. When you get to the bottom, I'm going to show you exactly what I'll be doing. When I notice my tip kind of bends, I'm going to just do this a few times. I'm just jerking the rod like that. Kind of, you know, jigging. It works. Just let you guys know. It may not show it, but it does work. Except, look at how many fish I got already. I got eight of them already. You don't have to do it too aggressive. You just want to just basically uh, shake the tip. That's what we're doing. So somebody uh, told me something about the um, about the fish on the sonar. Now the sonar is equipped in the front of the boat on this map, and then on the arch, the sonar is equipped. On the back side of the boat, so it makes sense because you want this the sonar to be facing towards the back, seeing they're trolling. But if the sonar is in the front, that's why you want to cast towards the front. If that is the case, I'll get the name for you guys who uh, said something about it. I don't want to uh, think I'm. I forgot. I don't mean to. Um, but yeah. Anyways, so he was explaining that the fish that shows in the, in the, on the sonar, when you see a big fish pop up, it means it's a school that's going by, or it's um, between big big fish or small fish. I guess when you see a small uh, single fish going by, I mean maybe a small school, and then there. There's, there's three sizes, okay? The small, medium, and then there's the large. What does it mean is a question I don't know. But I'm just letting you guys know what I've learned, whether it is the accurate truth or not. But yeah. Anyways, the point of this video is is showing you how you guys can do a, a different technique with these lures. And I've been doing this for the past week, and it's doing great for me. I might just start it with the perking, then I'll just do this. And I say it, it's, it works, guys. It's nice to get these BB soaps. Sometimes there's BB uh, cafe orders up. <laughs> this time there isn't though. I did double check. I'll try this again. That's all I'm doing. Just tap the the mouse button to get this um, to work like this. And doing jig step kind of. 
also pay attention to where you're at so you don't drift away from the spot where you're on because otherwise this does not work We keep catching them, maybe we may actually get a trophy. Just tap in the R, see if there's anything biting as it sinks. That's how you get Jake's step to work. But it dropped to the bottom, then do that. Okay. I wonder how Jake's step works. But yeah, you guys get the idea. So come on this spot, come to the 30 um, four meter hole with the green rubber foam with the three out hook. You'll be catching these fish, the BBs and the European, the turbots. And also you'll be finding the sculpins, which is good for the cafe. And you'll get some fish. And you might ask me a lot. I was here yesterday at the spot for a whole hour. I managed to make over 600 some silver in 55 minutes. Our fish. Now it's got an Atlantic cod doing this too. Not a big one. I'll show you my net real quick before I end the video here. See. Seven point four. So far, I got two of these. Right now, there's a order up for them, and there's an order up for these. I need uh, over a thousand, one point five kg, and there's a haddock order, but that's the wrong size too. But yeah, you see that this is working good, guys. Anyways, that's gonna be it. If you got a video, hit that like button. I appreciate it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.